With the coronavirus pandemic impacting our finances in so many ways, we're working to get you answers when it comes to home buying and refinancing. We've teamed up with Supreme Lending's Alfredo Madrid for something we're calling common sense. And Alfredo, thank you so much for joining us. Are there still programs out there to help first time home buyers? Thank you, Erin. Yes, there definitely are. You know, there was a couple that shut down for just a little bit, just to see what the market was gonna do, but the market has remained so active that they've opened back up. We got a lot of programs for zero down home loans, for people wanting to buy in rural areas, and for all kinds. Now it's gonna be different for every borrower and there's requirements above and beyond our own for those programs, but they're very available and we're doing quite a bit of them right now. All right, and where are you seeing the biggest changes? Probably in two areas. I mentioned a couple days ago that the guidelines were tightening up. Uh, that's continuing to happen for sure. Uh, the second thing is uh, just the innovation that everybody's using to make transactions happen and to help these clients out and to keep them safe. You know, we got a lot of people with limited resources, but we're finding better and better ways to help these people, whether it might be a Zoom call just like this one, um, whether it might be the curbside service we discussed, but uh, we're making adjustments as an industry and we're doing really good with it. All right. So what is your advice for consumers? My advice for consumers is just to really inform themselves, to get some good advisor in their corner, whether it's a mortgage advisor like myself or a financial planner or somebody like that, that can explain their options. There's a lot of movement out there right now and a lot of variables to take into consideration. All right. Thank you so much, Alfredo Madrid from Supreme Lending. You can find much more on our website. Just head on over to kjrh.com slash common sense.